Buenos días, amigos y amigas. Hoy es Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> All right, so today is Cinco de Mayo. That's right, May 5th. And we are going to be making tacos. And uh, there's no better way to make tacos than with elk. There's no better way to make anything than with elk. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. This is the difference between a tomahawk and a hatchet. It's all about the end state. It's all about the mission. It's all about the purpose. A tomahawk, what a beautiful designed weapon. That is used to skull some people. That's right, it's a weapon. Whereas the hatchet, as you see here, this hatchet is a tool for cutting, for slicing, for chopping wood. Ha! That was awesome. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tr try to juggle this. I'm not. We are gonna make tacos today, and those tacos are pretty simple. You can do this with ground anything. You don't need elk, but I'm gonna be doing it with elk today because this is deadly delicious. The food sometimes deadly, the way that I cook it is sometimes deadly, or I, of course, am deadly. Um, we do not need the hat. Um, we're not gonna need this because it's in Texas and it's hot and I'm already sweating. Whew. But uh, here we go, off to cooking. All right, let me clean this up really fast. Okay, ingredients are simple when it comes to elk tacos. Elk, it's a key ingredient. Muy importante. Um, we're gonna have some guacamole. That is the famous Tim Kennedy guacamole that I cannot give you the recipe today because that is a recipe for another day. Onions, garlic, jalapenos, and uh, a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of onion salt, a little bit of cumin, and um, some sea salt. And, that, and we're off to the races. We're gonna make our own fantastic taco meat, but now I need to get the onions searing and then I add the garlic, then I add the meat, then we go take the jalapenos, we put them out on the barbecue, because if I slice these open and I cook them here on this stove behind me and those fumes start coming up, we essentially have uh, pepper spray in the house and my family's not thrilled about that. Okay, here we go. So uh, to do our meat, to brown our meat, we need to get our pan hot, do our onions, then um, you can do your meat on top of your onions, or you can pull the onions out and then brown the meat and then add the onions back in. Depending on how much you like onions or how much you like the flavor of onions, that's on you and your family. That's a soft lie. Okay. <sighs> the sound of flames igniting. 1,000, 2,000, I'm not counting. Don't that in oil. Elk is very lean. It's, it's, it's a lean meat, so we need a little bit of oil to... Oh, oh that's fun. It feels stabby. A good grip to it. Doug, can you put onions in your compost? Yeah, thumbs up. Hmm, cute. Wrong! Yeah. Wrong, wrong, that's correct. That is the wrong answer. You do not do it. So pretty much if, if um, to have a really easy compostable compost, you want stuff that is not strong. So no citrus, um, onions. I know that oil behind me is getting ready. It's getting close. Best sound in the world. Tss, tss, tss. I wonder if I could throw this. No, that's, that's a nice camera. Okay, Cinco de Mayo. Man, what a fantastic holiday. Now, while there's a lot of racial appropriation, and I celebrate that because this is a holiday, so as an Irishman, it'd be like, do you want? You guys should not celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That's idiotic, because St. Patrick's Day is amazing, and that should be shared and appreciated by everybody. So is it with May the 5th. 
so is it with Cinco de Mayo. Now that battle was the victory that Mexico celebrated over defeating the French forces at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. There were over a thousand French that were killed in this specific battle. Now here is a not known fact. Now this is a very close held secret only known by scholars that almost the entire battle was fought with the thorns taken from the agave plant. I'm not sure if you've ever been, um, I'll say stung, but the agave plant has really thick thorns on it. And the agave, which you make tequila out of, <laughs> um, that, I don't know, it's like, it's like poison that's inside of there. And when that stuff gets on you, oh boy, does it hurt. All right, we are off. This is looking great. See, I want to use this on this, but I don't need it right now. Man, it's so bad having that sit right there, but not be able to use it. This is a weapon, deadly and delicious. Can you imagine? Have you seen the video of the, the, the guy in the frying pan with the frying pan at the, the protest? They're like, Bang! this would be sick. All right, we gotta get a little bit more casual. Cinco de Mayo, you need to relax. So let's get a little bit of chest out, you know? We'll have a chest party. Boom, there it is. Okay, um, did I rinse these? For the pan seared jalapenos, this is really simple. You cut them right down the middle with the stem. Add oil and salt, put a lid on it, bring it up to a high heat. All right, so this is my own salt concoction with just coarse sea salt and Himalayan salt. That's it right there. So I'm gonna get that pan super hot outside on the barbecue. Sounds like my onions are starting to get browned and caramelized. So once I get it kind, when they're somewhat translucent, that's my spot and time to add my garlic in the center of the pan or it's the most hot. Ha! What you should do with the tortilla. Should be soft tortillas, should be flour tortillas, should be corn tortillas, should they be fried corn tortillas? Well, that's what we're gonna go with today. We're gonna take corn tortillas, we're gonna put them into a pan with a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt at a very high heat, and we're gonna do the crispy homemade taco thing. So let's go ahead and grab our skillet. Not that one. That one I could use as a shield. This one, this one looks good. All right, elk time. Oh my gosh. So I'm, I'm gonna molest this meat a little bit just so you can see there's nothing like the color of elk. Is that not the most beautiful looking meat ever? Let's get all the elk into the pan. Start folding the onions into it. Okay, so uh, here's my little herb garden. Uh, we have my rosemary, we have my thyme, we have the delicious mint, we have, should have been harvested already, and it looks like it has a bug problem, I'm gonna fix that. Uh, my oregano, and then the cilantro, which we're about to have on our tacos. So we're gonna harvest that here in a second. Jalapenos are on, I'm doing this outside, so I don't fumigate my house with seared jalapenos. <laughs> Harvesting cilantro. I need enough for the family, but not too much to hurt the plant. So we're just taking off all of our kind of our outline stems. Okay, checking back in with the meat. Things are starting to brown. Now we can start cutting. Remember, don't smush. Make sure the onions are on the outside. We can rotate our onions so those don't get black, but they can stay nice and brown and translucent. That's the ultimate goal. So it's already been salted. Now we just need to add our taco flavoring once it gets a little bit closer to being done. That I love tacos too. I'm happy for us that we can consume them too. I know the taco in me. All right, here we go. Get to slice our cilantro. Perfect. Put it in our tray, ready to go. It does look nice. Way to go, Tim. Way to go, Hatchet. Okay, you can't have your tacos without sliced limes. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wonder how, like, how fast I could do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one was less than stellar. There we go. 
I'm not saying I'm the meat whisperer, but you have to know how to listen. Can you hear how the meat is starting to be quiet? That means it's time to stir. I was filming the TV show Hunting Hitler, and uh, I don't like tequila anymore for a variety of reasons. And at the top of that long and distinguished list would be Cinco de Mayo. What? Okay, if you have kids that don't like spicy taco meat, once your meat is brown, um, I take enough out where I can do the kids' tacos separate from the adult tacos. I also try to not get a bunch of onion in there, but we are pretty close to that moment. Well, that's really hot. I'm sure to wait a minute. I immediately regret the decision. A little garlic salt, Lowry's gar garlic salt. Mm. Pull out our kids' meat and our grandma meat. And as I do this, I try and to get as few onions as I can. They just don't like them, but I like them, so it gives me extra onions and it gives them less onions. So it's a great, it's a great compromise, guys. Great compromise. So here's my meat. Oh shoot, the jalapenos. Beautiful seared jalapenos. Getting these on. <laughs> oh man. This is why you do it outside. Well, let's cut the heat. It's getting us. Now I can have pepper sprayed. Uh, no, it's so powerful though. Now I can just let these bad boys sit here and simmer. Okay, so one of the easiest and best things about tacos is the taco meat. And you get to flavor it to your own taste. So I use onion powder, I use garlic powder, I use chili powder, and I even use cumin. Um, you, you can add anything you want and you can add any portions, proportions that you want. Oh, here comes some trouble. A one-year-old just walked in the door. Or you can come and help me cook whichever you want. Okay, now take this and just drop it right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect, just throw it out there. Good, and one more. Spectacular work, my man. Now, the dangerous part is here. The spinning of the tacos. All right, so we get them into heat. Once we get them into the heat, we spin it to get all the oil and the salt onto the tortilla. You wanna taste it? No, I wanna taste it. A spoonful of taco meat? Yeah. I love, I love where your head's at. All right, now, once we have the meat on, then we take it, we fold it. Get it right on the pan, right where we want to get it browned and crispy. Nice, we push it so it stays in that good taco shape. Mm -hmm. Here are our plain tacos. Nothing fancy, simple. Right now, this is just browned onion, elk taco meat, the crispy tacos, taco shells. Now we're gonna add the accoutrement. In this case, it's gonna be, we're gonna keep this super simple. Kiss, this is the kiss of tacos. We're gonna add a little bit of guacamole, then we're gonna add a little bit of cilantro, and then a little bit of cheese. Mmm. Muy, muy delicioso. Muy delicioso. It's rico, suave, carne is. Perfecto. Generations of Kennedys will talk of the magnificence of these tacos. Uh, to those that fought in the Battle of 1862 in Puebla, thank you. Thank you for this holiday. I'm gonna eat all of these. All right. So now this is not for everyone, but our pan-seared jalapenos. 
look how perfect they are. Um, it does take a lot of the heat out of them. But if you want to take that jalapeno, tear off the stem, and it, you cook them right, they should just fall right off. Now that whole entire half a jalapeno, you just stick right inside. Look at that thing. Dead and delicious. Mm. That's the way to do it. With the jalapeno right there. Look at that thing. Sitting there right on top. Oh, yeah. Hey, eat me. I'm so spicy. Hmm. Tacos galore. I love tacos. I love elk. What a great combination. This is super simple. We do this in the household all the time. If you want a specific thing coming, I got, I got shepherd's pie. I have elk shepherd's pie that's coming your way. But go to the comment section, say what you like, say what you don't like, tell me how I messed up on this cook, that, that I was using the pointer as a cutter, that I'm supposed to be doing the pinch method. Whatever you say, go ahead and tell it in the comment section. Share this video and tell me what you want me to cook next. God bless America, stay free, stay safe. Bye. Huh, that's useful. I should probably wash that.